When clients contact us through their veterinarians usually um, to have a cardiovascular or potential cardiovascular problem assessed, the first thing Dr. McGurn and I would do is to have a conversation on the telephone to get more information. What sort of horse and what's it used for and at what level of competition, how long has it been working for, uh, to get an idea of the significance and, and possible relevance of the problem and also some idea of how far the client might reasonably be expected to proceed with the diagnostic workups in order to come to a definitive diagnosis. Uh, we arrange an appointment and then they come in to see us and always the first thing we do is to carry out a general physical examination. It's a mistake to run straight to the murmur or the heart rhythm disturbance before you've had a look at the horse as a whole. So except in the emergency circumstances, we do a general physical examination and get to know the horse and, and take a good history from the client and, and get some insights into not only how this problem arose, but what the client hopes to do with the animal, because that's a, a terribly important thing. So the client's goals for the animal, as well as its use and level of use, are, are pretty important information. And then from that, we will go to a more detailed examination of the horse to look at the, the cardiovascular system in more depth. And from the physical examination and the history and all the other data we've gathered, we can advise the client on what they should do in terms of diagnostic workup. Then, if we proceed further, we will always take an ECG and an electrocardiogram to see what the horse's heart rhythm is. And we will then most often recommend diagnostic ultrasound. And that's when we image the horse's heart through the chest wall um, with an ultrasound beam, just like the machine that's used for pregnancy diagnosis or, or tendon examination. We'll interrogate the heart and get an idea of its structure, whether there's any enlargement, whether there are any abnormal structures. We'll look at how efficiently the muscle works. And we'll take a look at the valves and see whether blood flow around the valves is normal or not and that gives us a very good baseline. And we can also do a bunch of what we call functional indices. We basically measure how effectively the heart contracts and how effectively the muscle does its job. And then having put all that together, we can give a client an idea from what we know historically about these sorts of lesions. We can give them an idea of what the prognosis is, for what the horse needs to be doing in the future. And the client, can, they can make a diagnosis Make, sorry, make an interpretation of whether they should proceed further diagnostically or therapeutically. And they can also decide whether what we have to say about the problem is going to have any impact on their ability to use the animal for the purpose intended. Mm -hmm.